Thank you, Galvin. Check it out. If you're not familiar with these machines, the drag and drive movement has really grown by leaps and bounds over the last decade or so. The premise being that the cars are street legal, but not like, well, yeah, it's a pro mod that I put a license plate on, but you have to actually drive them on the street. Like they'll go to a drag strip, make a run, drive 500 miles to another drag strip, make a run, drive 500 miles to another drag strip. You are allowed to pull a trailer. You are not allowed a support vehicle. You can't have your buddy following you around in a pickup just in case. Anthony Imzek in the left side. That's a Mitsubishi Eclipse with a four-cylinder and a big old turbo. I think it's got a turbo on the thing off of a Kenworth. And Glenn Hunter in the right side. That 56 Bel Air. This thing is awesome. Watch the Bel Air. This thing will go, oh, and he popped and banged it down there. Yesterday, the Bel Air went like 187 miles an hour. Today, he chattered the tire. Ends up shutting off. 850 for Nimzek. 850, 160 miles an hour. And he literally could drive that thing back to the hotel if he wanted to tonight. He was and is still the number one qualifier. But the drag and drive events, it really was all started.